guys, welcome to the channel. This is Ski with Blackfly. Hope everybody's doing wonderful. Um, this video is kind of different. I thought might as well record it. Recently, I broke my ankle, as some of you know. Um, it's actually been a few months now, and it's just been it's been a slow recovery process for me. I think I have some nerve damage or something um, because I went. I actually took the cast off, went fishing before I was supposed to. I, I couldn't handle it anymore, but what it's come to now is it's hard for me to wade in really bouldery rivers. Um, it's just gotten hard. I don't, I don't have that strength yet in my ankle, so I've got to go to the old man stick. So I've been playing around with a few different ideas. I um, looked at some options that were available you know, that are actual real waiting staffs, and I decided, you know what? The best option is to build my own. I've got these three right here. This is one that I built a long time ago, and it's more of my survival hiking pole that I built. It's got a, I'm gonna just show you here. Take that cap off. It's got a compass, take this out. It's got a f survival, uh, survival kit, and fishing kit. Just something I made years back for hiking and backpacking. It has a survival shelter. Actually, it's just a thermal blanket built into the under the paracord. And then I've got about a hundred feet of paracord, but and then duct tape and some wire. And then I made myself a just kind of a, a point for it. So that was option one, but that's just too heavy. So then option two was I picked up a couple ski poles from a yard sale for a couple bucks. But this is just, it's just so long and it's not collapsible. I wanted the ability to be able to collapse it and be small. So my third option is I got this collapsible trekking pole. It has a cork handle. It's got foam for when you're gripping lower. It has, it's actually a staff that's made for water. These are aluminum and it has rubber grommets in here so it doesn't slide. Sorry for the shaky camera, but it extends out as long as I want. I've already experimented with it on the river and it, I can put all my weight on it in the river while it's wet and it doesn't, it doesn't slide, it doesn't collapse it stays firm because I want it to be a multi-purpose tool. I want it to be a monopod slash hiking, trekking pole slash waiting staff. And so let's build one. So here's the items that I purchased to convert this trekking pole into a monopod that's going to serve my purpose. Um, and so what, what my plan is, is I want to mount this on the top so I can, so it has the GoPro mount, but I also want to be able to add my phone. I want to be able to go back and forth from the GoPro to my phone, depending on what I have with me. And so I bought this adapter here that I can mount there to give me, give me more flexibility and more pivot. So that I can mount the GoPro on. I add this, I can mount my phone mount on and so let's build it Dremel I need this so I'm going to use this cutting bit to flatten out the end of that and to rough up that rubber just so that way the adhesive that I'm going to use will will hold better. So I'm going to put the bit in the Dremel. Hold on, hold on, hold on a minute. Safety first. What I'm gonna do is I've already did. I've already spared you guys uh, most of the noise, but I'm just gonna show you what I'm doing. Is this comes as a, a round? This is round. 
it's a round surface and I want this I want this the seat nice and flat so it doesn't rot it doesn't teeter um, so I'm just shaving it shaving the rubber down so that I can uh, mount it and just put a rubber band around the strap so that way it doesn't it didn't get in my way you can see now that that's pretty flat. But you can see how I rough that up again and just how it's flat. And you don't have to have a Dremel. You could slowly shave it with a razor blade and maybe take some and take some sandpaper and just sand it. The next what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you can take either some acetone or some rubbing alcohol. Just want to clean this. And then I'm going to take the piece, this piece here that I'm going to adhere to the staff, and I'm going to clean it too. But see how it's nice and flat. It's not glossy anymore. Get that shine off there, and it'll it'll adhere. The adhesive will adhere good. Okay, so next I've got two options here. I've got Sugaru, which which I've used before and it's not I'm not sure if it's gonna be as strong as I want and then I've got some a JB weld quick set and this is just an, a putty that you mix up this stuff is awesome keep it in your car it'll still a gas tank if you have a leak it'll it just it, it does amazing things JB weld and duct tape fix anything Okay, so the JB Weld comes kind of wrapped in a plastic and it has a cover within, just peel this off. And you can see how that's two colors. So what I do is I just take, okay, so you can see there's just a plastic, you just take and peel that plastic off um, and then you just start kneading it together just like Play-Doh. And you don't have a lot of time with this quick set. You just want to meet it, knead it up, up real good, so that the two be color, the two colors become one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of it, kind of shape it. I want it. I'm gonna put it. I have the other piece in my hand here. I'm just gonna kind of put it there. And I know I want this. Let's see. I wanted it to go this way. So I'm just gonna push that down into that JB weld. Okay, then I'm going to roll a rope out. Oops, I roll the rope out and then I'm just going to kind of work it around the whole thing here. Here's a little hack. Get your fingers wet. You can use your saliva, which I know is nasty, but then you can work with this. You gotta work fast. There's other adhesives you can use, but my camera is depending on this. I don't want it to fall, I don't want it to break off. And so I decided to go with something. Go with the stronger, the strongest option that I could find, which is the JB Weld. Okay, so I know this is nasty, but it really does work. You can use, just use your saliva and just kind of you can see how it's just, you can just, you know, keep molding it for a minute, a couple of minutes until you get it shaped nice and smooth. It's just pretend like it's water. I'm dipping my fingers in water. But it's one way that you can smooth JB Weld out.
Well, it's the only way I know of. Well, so you guys can see it. If you work with it, just take your time, but work quickly. You can mold it and shape it to look pretty, pretty good. Good enough for fly fishing. Oops, get that off the cork. There we go. So now you just, you let it sit and dry and I'll show you guys the finished product. So I've just got some rubbing alcohol here and I'm just using that to clean up my hands. You know, you might want to use gloves, you could, but I've worked on cars my whole life, so don't bother me. I'll take and clean up my knife. This is a good knife, man. I've had this knife since the 1990s. It's an old trade. Okay, guys, so it's, um, it's sat and cured. It only takes, it says an hour. It only takes about an hour to cure, but you can... See, it's good and hard. These aluminum lock nuts, uh, they come with an O-ring on them. Take this O-ring off and save it. I'm gonna show you what to do with it in just a minute. Now, I could use this as a monopod. Um, so I just put the GoPro in. And I can tilt it and get shots. You know, underwater shots. I can get I can get nice pan shots. Um, and then if I don't want to use the GoPro, take the GoPro off. And I bought this adapter. So put this adapter on. And this is just a um, camera adapter. It's a quarter twenty. And so this is what you want to save your O-ring for. I'm going to link this. I'll link all this stuff down in, this, in the video description. Um, in case if you guys want to build one. I'll even link the staff in the, in the description of the video. But take the O-ring off of this lock. Um, off of your locking screw. And put it over your, your camera mount. Now what this does is this keeps this. See this, this turns. So that'll keep that from falling off or keep you from keep me from losing it in the field and so now if i want to use my camera i mean my phone on this too i can just thread this on here sorry about that and then tighten that up tighten that up and then now i have a monopod for my phone as well Okay, so just let me show you a couple more things real quick. Oh yeah, I know what you're thinking. This is a new design. It's pretty sweet, right? If you guys want to support the channel, it'd be awesome if you picked up some merch out of my store. If not, I just appreciate you guys uh, watching and subscribing. Okay. So, here's the staff. It weighs nothing. Um, this is the finished product. You can see I could... I could do, you know, selfie shots, extend it out, you know, and I get a nice, nice, buttery smooth pan. If I want to get some shots walking, it's like, you know, walk along the ground like this. I get, you know, some nice underwater shots down in some holes, some fish releases. So let me show you one more thing. I've got this, this is a, a just a gear keeper. So I just loop it through like that, and then I'm just going to loop it back through like that. And then I've got a carabiner clip, and this is a pretty wide, but it's a, it's a lightweight titanium clip. So then I just hook it to my, let's pretend I got my waders on, I just hook it to my wading belt, and I'm able to hike, um, and then if I want to disconnect it and cover some different angles, I just disconnect it. It's got a quick release. I've tested this staff wet and it does not slip. I can put all my weight down on it. As much weight as I need to. I haven't put all my weight on it, but I can put as much weight as I want to on it and it just doesn't slip. And so I can wade through, you know, the river and be confident in my steps while my ankle heals. But 
Anyways, guys, that's just a quick video. This is Steve from um, Black Fly <laughs> signing out. I'll see you guys on the next episode. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Take care.